it has to be packaged properly. That's right. What is this all about? Why should they listen? Yeah. And why should you say come to Africa? Because they are expensive, right? Yeah. Manageable ways. So, if we have to bring in, which uh, no problem in Kenya, it means we have to be able to find a reason. The only person who could bring artists, business people to South Africa without anyone asking for payment or for money. Was Nelson Mandela. That's no, exactly no. right. Is the, no. I, I disagree with that. Two seconds. Well, 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 what you are saying, the moral imperative, what makes South Africa great, what made a prisoner become known globally was not because of the song, it was because of what he represented. Yes. yes. And because of that, uh, being with Mandela in Bali, yes. and coming to Africa, we talk to Mandela, even just to have to shake hands with Mandela was fine. He is gone. Yeah. There is no replacement, mm -hmm. and there is no one like him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The only thing you can do is to use song, mm -hmm. to use the address of South Africa to promote yes. this idea yeah. that Mandela stood for. Mm -hmm. So that's what the song are all about. It's about giving hope where there is no hope. Giving the next step of what to do when there is no obvious next step. So that's the the the, the, the song. I challenged them and I got the the words for spinning plate because it was Bush who always told me about spinning plate. Yes. And the, and the uh, nothing after his death uh, is being done to connect all these dots. That's and, and, um, and that's the issue. I think a big issue is connecting the dots. It's okay to have conversations. Yeah. But how do you like? What are the action steps? What are the next steps? How how do we do? You know, how do we do what we do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. How do we do? Yeah. How do we do? What we do? How do we follow up and, and start to see some outcomes? You know, instead of just hey, this is nice, this is wonderful wine. You know, y'all are honorary members of the Young People's Party. And, um, but how do we follow up so that we can start seeing some evidence of improvement and things, you know, of that nature? And, you know, we certainly can have it, a, a dialogue about. Because next year we wanted to have yeah. a concert that would bring most of these Americans to come. Yeah. Not to play music. Mm -hmm. But to have but to be recognized. No, Mandela is a 67 million. So on his birthday, we have 67 artists who come to South Africa. And these are American artists. When Beyonce comes, not to perform, but just to be a witness to the idea that Mandela stood. I need to be African themselves who are playing the song. Because right now, we are spending money to bring Americans to pay them mm -hmm. to have yeah. shows. Yeah. But the people here mm -hmm. who are stars, they, they have nothing to send out. Mm -hmm. 
how can you come and, and, and basically almost have a public audition? No, just to partner, just to just share partner. the same, right. the same uh, audience, like Boots will take me to Jay Z right. and all these guys. But he uh, said, Mama, when you come into you know, in the city, uh, wherever I'm going, even if you are not invited, I'm not sure that you get in. Because I want you, even when I'm not there, I've given you something more important. How do you become the, that opening act That's for right. Beyonce? Yeah. To get that entree, That's or whoever the artist may be. And, and I'm sorry, I can't put this poem all off. My daughter could, I text her in a minute. But how do you become so that you can get that entree? Right. How, how, can how can you share the same room with Beyonce without Beyonce being paid to do, to do that? That's right. Well, and, and, uh, and I'm going to tell you this. This is one of the things that I really have come to understand um, um, is that they realize, they being the various artists, and celebrities and things of that, that nature. They've got a time clock on them. And so if their revenue is going to continue to grow and eat, increase, they have to bring in new talent. And they can, you know, they paid off the top and they should, you know, right capitalistic. And they deserve it. But they but to have that reoccurring revenue and things of that nature they need to constantly be, and that's one of the things that Matthew Knowles is doing. That's right. Is, you know, from what I understand, he's got artists that he, he represents. That's, and, yeah. and and I didn't want to take advantage of just the fact that his new wife, you know, she belongs to the organization. Yeah. But I don't mind saying, how do you do this? And you know what? I've got some people I need to introduce you to. Because I'm, I'm pretty bold. Just put my parents in. But you have nothing to lose. I've got nothing to lose. If he tells me, no, that's not what I do. You wanted to say something. If you got an audition or someone with one of his artists, I'll blow them away. So I'm actually a drummer. Okay. I'm a drummer. Okay. I'm not a, I've been producing since 2014. Okay. 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 But um, yeah, I've been playing for a long time and I've actually got a new electronic way of doing things with production that I've never seen even coming from America. Yeah, I, I'm going to tell you. I don't know how to explain it to you. Yeah, you need to. No, you know, I haven't, but I'm the pioneer of it. Everyone said the first time I played. Yeah. Okay. Okay. If I'm the creator, then I, I should be the best. Otherwise, you know. But he's a but you need to pack yeah. Right. But I'm gonna tell you, but the, you make he makes a very good point because you know I'm you guys not, can help me. Yeah, yes. I'm not in the entertainment industry but, but, that's people, that's, that's but I've got people that can I can yeah, can get to help to support you and um and, just an audition basically. Yeah. 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 So yeah. but that's the and the next next Hi. Um, Hi. I'm Scott. Yes. 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 And from banking, I got out and pursued business uh, under genius synergy and, and artistry because Oscar Wilde said, uh, life imitates art. Uh, so we believe that by making art that is conscious to people, we can reach them and change all parts of society, even business industry, just by connecting with people using art and using something that's easy. It's a language, it's not one of the dialects that we speak, it's just music or art, expression to change, to, to, to conscientize people about why and how we're here. So we are part of this movement that under the space, we also, we have a creative space, so we try and look at the space that we're in as young people and innovate it the best way we can and affect it the best way we can. So currently we're working on a transport app and this is a mobile app for low-cost transport for people who use low-cost transport to understand their, their surroundings, their infrastructure. 
the argument is that everybody already knows how to use it, but people are not technologically savvy. And to, to, to allow people to, to engage with something that they already know in a technologically innovative way introduces a new conversation for people. It gives us a new platform to distribute music, for instance, that doesn't need the traditional channels of radio, a &Rs, et cetera. We can reach people directly by being on their phones because that's the new language today. Everyone, it's an extension of arms, the phone. So we, that's just one of the projects, the building an app that we're involved in, the Genius Synergy, but primarily we do art and we, we try to conscientize people with art. I was in Italy in June performing on Mandela Day and I was rapping in Zulu to Italians and I couldn't believe it, but it actually, they enjoyed it. So it, it extended my knowledge of how people are actually malleable to art. It's not about, uh, it's not about who, what specifically you are, more than that we are all one, one essence connected. And you know, being different people allows us to have an individuated expression towards each other, to just learn about each other. So in the art, we try and, we try and uh, push this concept and get to as many platforms as possible to perform, which is why I'm part of you know, the movement All Lives Matter as well, and, and I'm helping out where I can. So that's what, that's what I'm doing right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, just a question. Um, yeah. Cool. And, and I just talked about again that um, now regarding, you know, all lives matter and yeah. what it means in, in the U.S. Because to, uh, to and, and, and I'm just being very open, open to you all family, yeah. right? all my children, and my sons and daughters. Okay. Um, when I said children, because y'all could be my. Sons and daughters. Well, and I'm I, I think I'm exactly the age that is. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You see her? Yeah. Like a mom. <laughs> yeah. 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 We're, we're trying okay. to organize something. Yeah. I'm trying to go <laughs> organize marriage for this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. 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 Gotta be able to take care of her because she's got these things. Yes, ma'am. Right. You need dollars. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 I don't have any questions, I'm just here to no, 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 um, nine to five, I'm a media strategist, and then media on the week, strategist. yes, I'm a media okay. strategist. Um, on weekends and after work, I cook because I love it, and yeah. Food is good. Oh, yeah. By, by the way, <laughs> so, like, so I got a phone call. I got a phone call from Stan this morning. Um, I was I was sleeping because I had a rough night last night. Oh, I was like, I, I need a shit. <laughs> Like what team you need to share? Like right, I'm just like like I just like you're cooking for fifteen to twenty people. I'm like holy crap, okay. okay. It's fine. Like, it's good. <laughs> and then yeah, I, had to, I literally had to make this up as like as I was going. I was like okay, what am I doing today? Like I'm making this up literally today. That's amazing. Thank you. Right? Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you see the the spirit? Yes. This morning, he didn't know he was going to be a chef. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. Be, I don't know. It'll be today's share. I don't know. No, not that share. Yeah, I'm not yet. You're 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 not you are always ready to fight. Yes, I am. Indeed. He's ready to fight. Yeah. Yeah. He's <laughs> ready to live. Okay. Okay. Good evening, everybody. Oh, I um, tips, my name is Rodney. Uh, Rodney Mushanga. Rodney. Yeah. I'm originally, oh, Rodney. Rodney. I'm originally from Zambia. I stay in the East Rand. Where did Where you get the East Rand? Yeah, man. That's not her. Um, my, my dad is a rugger fan, so he named me after one of his favorite rugger okay. fans. And I do music. I'm also an entrepreneur, and I'm part of the 1873 movement, and I'm happy to be with everyone here tonight. And I just wanted to ask uh, one question, that's possible. 
question. Yeah, I wanted to ask, like, in terms of the USA, like, what's popular there, and in terms of what you've seen here in SA so far, mm -hmm. what do you think, besides the field that you need, what do you think that's popular there that can work over here in terms of business and pop culture? You know, that, that's a good question because it's um, forever sort of changing. Of course, with app, like when you talked about your app and we really need to, to talk. Um, because I've just connected with some people that have done an app in terms of helping homeless people find sweet. apartments. But it's like not just an apartment. If you if there's work near where you where they're gonna find find housing, then that cuts down, of course, on your commuting with transportation costs and things of that nature. So people are really, really making money off of developing apps, if you will, um, that can help. That, you know that that can really help. The other thing is men's clothing it's they are about to exceed anything that women can do in terms of because men in the u.s are getting more and more dapper and want to be at the forefront of fashion and they are that marketplace is about to exceed this is one of the um department stores there in Nordstrom. Um, they've got excellent customer service. They got a wide variety of price points, but they're known as a high-end store. They really have beefed up their men's department. So, you know, from my limited perspective, um, those are some of the, the technology you just, just cannot go wrong. When you have some kind of technology that's going to make life easier, you know, for people, um, and it just amazes me how young kids just come up with this stuff. And it's like, oh, it makes my life. I mean, like Uber. I'm, I'm a transportation professional, and we just call that a jitney service. That's been automated. Now, why did not think of that in college? <laughs> I would be flying all the way up to the States, I mean, and staying for months and doing stuff. But it was just a jitney you know, service that they really, you know, automated. So when you come up with things that people have been doing forever mm -hmm. and then can simplify them with apps, that's where it is. Okay, next one. Hey. Hi. How Everybody, fine, thank you so Good, thank I'm you. amazing. Yeah, <laughs> you look great, I like the epic and uh, I get a picture. My name is Fred Angassissier. Okay, my name is Fred Angassissier. Um, I'm half semi-half engineer, uh, South African raised. I'm a multimedia designer by profession and a um, musician by night. Uh, I, I did the vocals on the spinning tray, a spinning plates yes. song that you like from Yeah, that I love. Yeah. I, don't, I don't like it, I love it. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's good. And yeah, I'm also an aspire, aspiring entrepreneur yeah, in the tech and the uh, uh, media industry. Yeah, my friends and I are working on an app as well, T-Shack, that's um, it's called Peace Jobs. So here in South Africa, when people like the people are sometimes on the streets in the corner, they go out there and uh, they look for jobs, like just quick jobs, day jobs you can help people with, like uh, mowing the grass or painting, you know, painting, yeah, it's that kind of stuff. And you're yeah, working on a way of like maybe connecting them with uh, people who need those jobs and doing it more in a technological savvy way, maybe starting out with other ways. So, yeah, we'll mm -hmm. be working on it like that. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's all right there. I was going to design the app overnight. Copyright. It is already. So, yeah, I've um, been just part of also the 1873 tech group. I'll go ahead and say
Do you have a question? Um, yeah, kind of. My question is, after you listen to our track, it's more personal, it's not like what everyone's been asking for professional personality. After you listen to our track, you said it's the kind of song that you would listen to after meditating, uh, you know, to help you feel good and everything. So uh, my question is like, uh, meditation, do you take it? Is that, is that, does it play a big role in your life, especially as an entrepreneur? Because yeah, the, the youth especially takes it as a, more of a mystic art, and you know, maybe it's like, it's not something they, they, they feel can help you with the actual uh, normal life uh, lessons and just to know yourself better and also just to, in business as well, just to concentrate better. Um, so, as you said, now maybe like, do you think meditation can be used by the youth in a good way? Uh, as you mentioned suicide rates and how high they are in America, maybe as maybe to um, help alleviate uh, issues like that, um, and maybe like just to help people in general. Yeah, yeah. that would be my. Well, let me just first say that it is, um, there, it is the key to my life. And, and I consider it, um, I, I, it's not like just the single time period with me and the Creator, because I'm with the Creator all day, 24 7. Mm -hmm. okay. But it is my time to focus on what the creator has for me to do. And, and and I need that five o'clock in the morning. I like to call it easing into my morning. And and so that's very important, very, very much important to me. Um, I always say to people, you know, you don't need to talk to me until after I talk to God, because that that's ugly. Otherwise, it could really could be. And, and so it, it it keeps me calm, it paces me, it guides my day, it gives me the wisdom, and, and, I, and I have a spirit of discernment. I come across a lot of people, and I thank God, you know, for it. Um, you know, I was born and raised in a Pentecostal church. So, um, if, for anybody that understands that, they, they kind of know what all of that means. Um, mm -hmm. Um, so, so it's very, very much important. But I always like to, um, as I not even end my meditation, because I think it goes on for me, but when I start to move in into the next phase of my day, I like to go into it a beat. And that is like, you know, once I stop to hear that song come on, to me, and, and y'all can get it, y'all can send it to me, it, it, it's going to be, you know, a part of it. And um, and so, yes, we really do need to take that time, you know, be it 15 minutes early in the morning, um, be it, you know, an hour, be it whatever amount of time that you have, but if you are in a perpetual state, you know, um, as the words say, pray without ceasing. And that could be, I'm on my way here. Um, you know, I don't know what I'm going to meet or greet today, but I need your guidance to help me, to give me the wisdom that I need. You know, give me clarity and understanding. You know, Holy Spirit, give me a fresh anointing so that I may respond, and then to you be the glory. Not me, but to you be the glory for the great things that you have done and created, you know, using me as a vessel to do so. So that time is so, so, so important, you know, to me. And, um, and I have been doing it a very long time, you know, in my life, and um, but I have to tell you, the last several years have be become so intentional. This is no coincidence. Okay, this is no coincidence. Let me let me just say to you right now, because when 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 my declaration is that I declare that today all things will be in alignment with what the Creator will say and they will be good. This is an alignment and it is good. Amen. 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 Okay, you feel me over there? Okay. 
When I say that I declare to that today, I will prosper, that I will sow a seed that will grow and prosper. This is no coincidence. And I get that in the morning. Sometimes I get it during the middle of the day. I'm getting it right now. <laughs> Yes. So, so thank you, and thank you for your song no. that will be become a part of it. Okay. Yes. Okay. Hey, how are you doing? I'm fine, next to you. Um, I'm amazing. Uh, yes, you are. <laughs> 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 and I receive it. <laughs> uh, my name is Lukolo. My name is Lukasakasa. That's what you're going to have. Fiscal Chris, do you know what it is? I previously was a we get into that, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> um, 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 I'm um, yeah, yeah. 28 years old, I come from the East Red. Um, I'm Kosa, which is one of the 11 indigenous languages in South Africa. Um, I come from Stockholm. Yes. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> and um, uh, I don't really have a question. I just want to say welcome uh, <coughs> to the country. Um, and uh, I wish so many more people from the country come from can engage and do the kind of things they can do because um, not just South Africa, but at the whole is in need of such a is in need of such people that come to um, be able to come and uplift us. Uh, we can teach you guys a couple of things. Yeah. You can teach us so many things as well. So uh, okay. thank you for that, Michelle, um, in general. And uh, tell me, you want to say hi? What's your name? Like, <laughs> 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 I guess I'm like cows in the Eastern Cave, you know, like we got, we got the whole Lobola thing happening in Africa. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Danielle Rachel. That's a Daniel Rachel. Yeah, you text. I'll send you media and uh, previously with Triple W, the Purple Radio, uh, presenting breakfast six to nine a.m. I'm a car rise, but I'm just going to 18, uh, send you three and four days. Just keep going on. And how do we bring people to 
together. So that's the, uh, the, the people who are here. And the, what I thought, is our biggest problem is to solve poverty where we see it and assume the people who are poor are less human. But they are also human beings with the same capacity to think. And if they are also trained to think, but there are very few people who actually think, because thinking is the most expensive commodity, particularly in Africa. Some people think they can't express it, and some people don't think at all, but they appear to be thinking. So you waste your time waiting for an answer from a person who is not even thinking yeah. about, about a problem. So how do you manage the two? So the people who are poor, it's not that they are poor, but actually they don't know, they don't know who to. Do. Yeah. And what I just promised these guys, if you can give me a 12 songs, I'll get it to the right places. But if I get 12 minus 1, if you give me 90, 99 cents, I don't have a dollar, so I won't move. Now they're struggling with a, a song called No Nigger Business. Is that correct? <laughs> they, they can't come up with a song that would make No Nigger Business a lesson. So how do you craft that song? Because Butch always says, my way, a, a nigger will always lead you somewhere to an address where there is no comfort. Either he's late, either he's selling something he doesn't have, either he's dreaming <laughs> about things you never realize, and it takes time to understand what this nigger is trying to talk about. <laughs> so that time I'm spending <laughs> listening to this talk, the only way to stop listening is just to tell him no nigger business. Whatever, <laughs> sort out your business outside my my sphere. Once you are organized, then come on, let's talk about business. Yeah. But don't come to me and say, can I borrow uh, money? And you know you're not going to pay back. Right, right now, man. I ain't even going to be mad. Yeah, I, I and, uh, really and why, do you, why do you come to insult me? Right. If you want change, then go to the street. But if you want to borrow, show me where the repayment plan is. Yeah. So that's all you are saying. But if I were to sing a song today and say no nigger business, I would be harassed out of town. Mm -hmm. And I would be lynched out of yeah. town. And, 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 <laughs> and we saw the, and we would start bleeping it out in North you know, in the USA. Yeah, and they would say and, and but at the same time we all understand exactly what you're saying. 